this video is like the biggest, most massivest video that I've ever made in terms of project size. Okay, so I am gonna be making a macrame headboard or just this massive wall hanging if you don't wanna use it above your bed. I had a request to do a headboard like one big enough for it and I was like, okay, yeah, that's a great idea. So if you have any more great ideas, like of any kind of macrame pieces that you want to see, let me know and I'll get on that. This piece is gonna be massive and I don't know how long it's gonna take me to do this. So for starters, this video will be beginner friendly and the fact that they're all gonna be very common and simple beginner not, so I'm not gonna use anything crazy out there that you don't know how to do. You'll be able to catch on really quick. It's just gonna take a lot of time. This piece will, if you're a beginner, it will probably take you a while to finish this. I hope it's gonna turn out good. I, I've got it in my mind what I want to do, but I don't know what it's gonna really look like, but we're just gonna figure it out as we go. And if it don't look right, we'll just start over, I guess. <laughs> but anybody should be able to do this. You just have to have a lot, a lot of patience. I'm gonna try to take it step by step. This video might be extremely long, because it's really simple once you learn how to do the knots. It's just a matter of having the time to do it. What you're gonna need for this project is you're gonna need some sort of rope and I just have this clothesline from Walmart. It is 354. It's 100 foot and 5.5 millimeters. If your rope varies by like 0.5 of a millimeter, it's really not that big of a deal. You can probably still do the project and it's gonna look the same. So get you some rope. Um, it's not, I mean, it's really not cheap. If you're on a budget, definitely go for these because cotton rope is super, super expensive. If I was gonna be doing this piece with cotton rope, it would probably cost me $1,000. I've got 1,500 feet of rope right here and I'm hoping this is gonna be enough and if it's not, I'm gonna have to go get more. This is exactly how much I ended up using. You're just gonna need some plain old scissors, something to get the job done, cut it. And I've also got some rope here so that I can attach to my driftwood to attach to the wall. You're gonna need either some driftwood, a big old curtain rod, a copper rod pole thing, whatever you can find to put this on. I have got two pieces here. Now I'm hoping the way I want to do this works out. So I've got two pieces and they're extremely long. They're gonna fit nicely over a king size bed so that you can get the drift of how big they actually are. Now, let's get on to the video. Okay, so your very first step is gonna be to hang your driftwood or your rod or whatever. All I did was tie a rope on the end, end of it and hang it up on a nail on the wall. So you know, however you can hang it up. And then your next step is gonna be to cut your rope. Now let me tell you, this is gonna take forever. What I have done is I have cut some rope about 16 feet each. I'll be honest, they ain't all that even. I've been averaging about six to seven pieces per 100 foot of the rope. So you know what I mean, I'm just kind of cutting. So this is your next step. You can see I've currently got 54 ropes up here. I might go a little bit higher on this end. It's not that far much more, but you can see there's a good ways to go down this side right here. So that's what I got to finish. I'm just going to show you how to attach it real quick so you can get the ball rolling and get your project going. To attach it, you're going to make a lark's head knot. Super simple. I talk about it in every macrame video. It's the very first knot that we do. You get your rope and you get it by both ends and I just travel down. And then you've got the loop in the middle. So fold your rope in half, whatever, you've got the loop. You've got your loop now. Super simple, one of the easiest knots to do. So you've got your little loop, the loopity loop. You push it behind the driftwood here. And then you take the two ends and pull it through just like that. And pull it to the top. Just like that. And because I'm putting this on driftwood, the ropes are not gonna be even as far as the way it travels because the driftwood is kinda, you know, and it goes up on one side and all like a little wobbly, you know. There was a crooked man who had a crooked walk, had a crooked cane, something. That's what it made me think of. Gives it a little bit of character and we're gonna work with it to make sure that the rest of the knots below that come out a little bit even. Get all these ropes up there, attach them just like that, and then you're ready for the next step. So after you're exhausted from putting all them on, we've only just begun. And yes, we've just begun Sharing horizons that are new to us Watching the signs along the way The next knot that we're going to be using is called the square knot and is the most one of the most basic knots I've said that before in all my videos and so I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick And what we're going to do with this is we're going to go down every single one of these that we have done um, a square knot takes four ropes, and so you need an even amount of ropes up top. So this is very, very simple. This is all that you're gonna do is you're gonna have you're gonna have these four right here, and you're gonna take this one on the right side and flip it up. Hold it. I like to hold it on the two in the center. Go down on this side and flip this rope up and through this little loop. Come up to the top with it. And that is the first half of the knot complete. Now you're gonna take the left side. Stick your thumb on it, 
This side's gonna go right here, underneath, through this loop. And now you've completed a square knot. So now you're gonna take four and four all the way across this entire piece and make a square knot. Okay, so I have literally been working for the past, I can't even count how many hours. It's already gone dark outside. Uh, I had to pull out the old uh, light box thing. And so I've gotten half of it done. I went ahead and did half of it so I could kind of figure out exactly how I want to do it so I could show you without like having to mess up and be like, never mind, don't do that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super easy, but it just takes a very, very long time. So just be patient with it. You can do it. I promise. For this part, you're going to start out by doing the double half hitch. And it's pretty much the main knot that you're going to be using throughout the entire project so we're gonna go ahead and start with that I'm gonna show you how to do it and you can see how it kind of goes at a slant we're just gonna be working with a slant for now it will make up for that later so what you're gonna do you're gonna take this very right side rope and you're gonna take the one beside it and you see how it's kind of underneath it like that you're gonna take it and flip it through this little hole and pull it up and see it looks like a little Cheerio that's the way I think of it it's like a little white Cheerio okay and now you're going to take this loop right here, pull it up. I kind of push it up there with my thumb like that, flip it over that rope and through that loop like that. Pull that through and pull it up to the top. And you can see you've got two little Cheerios and a string in between. And so that is your first little segment. Um, and you're going to literally just repeat that through half of the project. However many ropes that you got, you're gonna split it in half. So for this right side, I'm gonna work this way. And for the left side, I'm gonna start with the left side rope and work that way. Does that make sense? So for this side, how I picked up this side of the rope, for the left side, you'll pick up this side and work this way. Meet in the middle. I start walking your way. You start walking mine. Okay, so once you make it to the middle after you've done the right side and the left side, it should look something like this in the middle. So to connect this, it's literally the same thing. You just pick which one you want to be on top and which one you want to be on bottom. So we'll just do it like this. So this one's on the top, this one's on the bottom, and I'm taking the one on the bottom and wrapping it over just as if it was the same rope that we just used. And now you're ready for the next step. Okay, so this next step is pretty easy. Also, what we're gonna be doing is that same exact knot, except we're gonna be going at a slant. So it's gonna be looking something like this, which will in turn turn into something like this, little points. And so what I've done is I've taken four ropes. So where we tied it off in the center here, um, I took the first four on the left and used those. So we got these four right here. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this knot and it's gonna be your traveling rope. And so this one is gonna be underneath it and you're gonna do that same knot we've been doing. Flip it over through that little hole. Pull it up to the top, make a cheerio. Flip it over and through the hole again. And pull it to the top. All right, so now it's gonna start looking something like that and we're gonna do the next two beside that. Okay, so you can see we've already started to make our little pattern. Now this section, this section is now done. So we're gonna move on to the next four. So the four right beside it. We're gonna do one going this way, just like this one. So pick up this left rope, and now we're gonna pick up the four to the right of that. So these over here, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. This one is gonna be connected and have one extra rope just because it's the one we tied off in, so it's gonna look a little bit bigger than the rest of them, but that's okay. So you can see this one isn't connected like this one is, but that's okay, it's just how it's gonna be. Is you're gonna follow that same exact pattern. Oh! So once you've completed that step, we're going to move along and do a spiral stitch. It's just this little thing that you see right here. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to do a left square knot on this left side. And it's going to make the spiral turn a different direction. So we're going to put it up here like this. Take the right one, go underneath and through. And pull to the top. And you literally repeat that over and over again. So left side, underneath and it is going to start to spiral. So now we're gonna pick up the side on the right and instead of starting with the left side rope, we're gonna start with the right side rope and that's gonna make it spin the other direction. Okay, so it's gonna start looking 
something like that. This part is where we're gonna kind of make the project even. So, you know, it's on the driftwood, it's a little wobbly, and it got that crooked man going. You can see right here, the spirals are really short, but on the end, they're extra, extra long. But it makes for this pattern to be even with each other and be even down through here. This next part is super simple as well. We're literally just gonna be doing this same knot that we did right here, right here, right here. All these over and over and over again. So um, you can see what it's gonna look like. You're gonna do three rows of it on each one. So for this side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this right rope here, take the one beside it and start going upwards with it. Do it again. Now for the second row, you're just gonna pick up the furthest one to the right and do the same thing. Take the one beside it, go under, over, and through. Cheerio. And you have completed that side. Now you're gonna go ahead and do this side and to do that one, you're gonna start with the furthest on the left. Take this one, go under and through. You do the same exact thing, just the opposite direction. So after you've done your little twist on the entire project, you can go ahead and start on these. And once you finish those, you can move on to the next step. Okay, so now onto the next step. Right here, you can see where I have tied these together. I've made a little V right here at the bottom by connecting these. So you can see these two right here are gonna be connected. Now to connect them, you do the exact same thing as how I showed you to connect both of the middle. And so you pick it whichever side you want it to be on. It doesn't matter if you do it on this side or if you do it this way. I'm just gonna do it this way because that's the way it's falling. And you got this one on top, this one on bottom. I'm gonna take this one, go up and over, pull it, and do a little loop and pull it through, and pull it to the top, fix it a little bit. And now you have adjusted it and you have attached these. You group them together and do the entire row. And once you get to the end, um, you're gonna have, once you get to the end, you're gonna have one little section off by himself don't worry about him, we'll tie him in later. Okay, so after you've connected all of them in the middle like this, all the way down, oh my goodness. Okay, what you are gonna do is we're gonna make this little loop-de-loop -loop right here. And so this is super simple. All you're gonna do is tie a square knot. So um, you're gonna take the two on the outer edge, so just like this right here, and you're gonna bunch these all up in the center. So this is all gonna be the middle. You're gonna make a square knot on top of this, kinda where you want your center to be. Um, I'm, I'm just making it even with this side right here. Super simple, probably one of the easiest steps and quickest ones. You've got this awkward little dangle right here. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna tie it in with this area. So just as we've been doing, make this the end and make this the end and then just kinda slop them suckers together just like that. Rotter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this top section tonight and then I'm gonna go to bed because I'm exhausted and the shadows and everything are getting too bad to where once we get down to this bottom portion, I really want you to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, so once you've gotten all these little things done, it's time to make these two little Vs at the bottom here. Super simple, once again, you're gonna do that same little slanted double half hitch over and over again, twice. All right, so here's this first little section right here. You're gonna take the one on the very far right and you're just gonna kinda pick up the rope next to it and just kinda do that same thing, making that double half hitch and kinda pulling it up right about where you want it. It's a little bit hard to keep in place. If you pull too tight, it might shift up. So kinda keep it in place like that and then tie your knot. And then just keep going. Do half on this side and then half on the other side. Put one over the other and do another double half hitch on top of it. After you do all these across the whole project, you can attach it to the next piece of driftwood. Okay, so now once you have completed all of the little triangles at the bottom, it is time to attach it to this piece of driftwood. Now, I've already started on this left side, but I'm gonna tell you how I even got it started to begin with. So, I held the driftwood on this left side and balanced the right side on a chair and so that kind of like equaled the weight so I could like kind of hold it and tie the knot at the same time and then as you got going the driftwood kind of held itself up you know that knot we've been doing the double half hitch we're gonna take the rope that's dangling all this leftover excess rope we are gonna do a double half hitch on this piece of driftwood so let me show you how to do it real quick and then you can repeat the process on whatever you got down here as your second piece. <laughs> you can see that I've got the pieces behind the driftwood and that's so that it looks like the driftwood is another portion of the piece. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that double half hitch 
onto the driftwood. Pretend this is like you're just working yarn that we've been using throughout this entire piece and this is the one underneath it. So you're gonna take it, fold it over the driftwood, just like that, and you've created like a little loop you can see right here and you're gonna just push it through that and that's your first little little loop. Then you just do it one more time so you bring it over the driftwood like this and then you pull it through this little loop that you've made. All right, my peeps, so today is day two of this project and we are halfway there. We're halfway there, Wah! Got the songs down pat this video. Okay, so what you're gonna do right here is we're gonna start doing some double half hitches same little knot that we've been doing throughout the entire piece, but we're gonna do it in a different pattern. So what I've done is I've gathered four ropes over here and four ropes over here, just the longest ones in this area. All these other ones, you ain't gotta worry about. They don't have to be beside each other exactly. You know, they can kind of be spaced apart. Just get you four kind of in like a little cro close, close, close proximity to each other. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with this right side right here. And we're gonna take this and use it as our traveling rope and take this one and just start making and then we're going to tie them together how we were earlier just like so And as I go for this one, I'm particularly wanting it to kind of lean this way. So I'm trying to keep, I'm wanting it to kind of lean this way. So as I'm going, I want the ropes to kind of give way towards that way, if that makes any sense. Okay, so you can see how we finished this one off. It got a little fluffy down here, but over here on this side, we're going to make the same exact thing kind of about right here -ish in comparison to the distance in between them. So right about here, do that same exact thing. You see that little pattern right there? That's what we're gonna be doing now. And it is super simple, but yet it is so beautiful. I think I say that about everything, but really, it really, really is. So for this part, you're gonna be doing a whole bunch of square knots, and then I went down into a V. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be picking where we want that to go. Okay, so down here, you can see where we've got the two that we just completed on this side and then these two right here with this little pattern in the center. This is what we're gonna be attaching and hanging on in just a little bit, but for now we're gonna do this center portion so we know where to start putting these. This is the center of the actual piece, and so we're gonna to wanna to avoid that and come over in this area. Okay, so as you keep going here, what you're gonna do on this sixth row, you're gonna do it just like you would, but when we come down to the seventh row, instead of grabbing these four right here and making another knot, you're gonna leave that off on both sides. So you're gradually gonna get smaller and smaller by the rope. Once it looks like this, you're ready to start on this piece that's gonna hang on both sides of this, and then we will get to this middle portion. I am burning up, it is hot, it is very hot. Granted, I do have on pajama pants, but doing this is tiring and it's sweaty. So for this next part, you're gonna need eight ropes, and no, so for this next part, so for this next part, I've cut eight ropes that are 10 foot long each, round about 10 foot, you know what I mean, 10 foot each rope. That's my thing. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take four ropes and place them, oh, you can't see. We're gonna take four ropes and place them on this side and four ropes and place them on this side. So do that same thing with a lark's head knot. Fold it in half and get your little loopy to loop. And we're gonna take it and kind of just push it through back there and pull it down, attach it. And there's one attached and I'm gonna attach three more over here 
and then four on this side. Got it? Good. Okay, so remember that pattern that we did earlier with the double half hitches over and over again and like a little woo 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 woo, -woo pattern? We're gonna do that again, twice. Even though you only attached four ropes up here, there are eight ropes hanging. So you're gonna split that in half and you're gonna have this one starting out as your right side and just start it going again. Just keep going how we did earlier and you'll be finished before you know it. We're getting close. We're, we're really, really close. <laughs> okay, so once you've completed both sides, oh, by the way, these are four instead of three, by the way. The other side we did three, but this side we did four. The very two on both ends, we're gonna kind of connect those. It's not gonna completely connect because it's going the opposite direction, but it's gonna bring them together and kind of let us work that way. And then we're gonna take the one that is left off on right here, um, like you would just go down and finish another row, except you're only gonna do half of a row. So go ahead and finish that. So we're gonna take this middle portion, or her, and we're gonna take the four ropes in the middle, which is gonna be these four right here, and we are gonna tie a square knot, just like we have been doing, just like that. And we're gonna do the same exact thing as far as coming down the row. We're gonna finish this off to a point, just like that. Alright, so I just have a little bit of excess rope here, no big deal, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the end of it here, and I'm just going to kind of loop it around this edge and attach it, tie a little knot in it just like that, and then I'm going to kind of decide where I want this to swoop down, and I'm going to be attaching lark's head knots all along here, and that's going to make it look all kinds of fringy and cute. Alright, I'm thinking I'm going to attach it right around this area on the rope. All right, now I'm gonna take some rope and just cut it super short, I guess you can see. It's about like this and fold it in half. And we're just gonna cut that however long you want it to dangle down. You're gonna take it and you're gonna attach it just like a lark's head. So over like this and pull it tight. And it's gonna dangle down. You're gonna need a lot of those. <laughs> you can see this part right here. That is what I just completed, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, so once you finish both sides, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my rope, and on this one right here, I'm squatting. On this one right here, we're gonna attach it, and then we're also gonna attach it right down here at this bottom one, and we're gonna do the same exact thing on this side and this side, and same way with these little frilly things. I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm done. One more, one more. So I'm gonna attach it from here to there, to both of those centers on these pieces right here, and kind of drooping down through here. It's gonna look cute, it's gonna look cute. Oh my goodness, I think I'm finished. <laughs> you enjoyed it if you did give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe I am filming this outro the same day I filmed my intro so I haven't actually made the piece yet so I hope it looks good <laughs> thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day and God bless I was holding these so I didn't do my little